We're going to put this underneath the um, uh, crinoline uh, to make it poofier at the top. And we wanted to have three panels, but we realized we didn't have enough netting. Mm -hmm. And so we took our scrap of netting, folded it in half, and stitched it higher up here. Mm -hmm. And now you, you, you'll see when I gather it that that makes it fairly stiff, mm -hmm. which will give the proper amount of poofiness. Yay! Yay. So this is about twice the full width of the, what the circle we're going mm -hmm. to make. And so we need it gathered so it's half the width. Okay. And we have this amazing little gizmo here attached to the, the sewing machine here. It's a different kind of presser foot. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. Yeah. Mm, so many fancy things. The glare <laughs> off the machine. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, look at all that crazy moving parts. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, then give it back to Lolly. Okay, so we have this amazing gizmo here attached to the machine that will do all the gathering for us. Gone. Really fancy. It's yeah. magic. The sewing the ruffles, ruffles gathering gathers water. to put underneath the crinoline to add more poof to Lily's dress. And this cool thing does it. The special attachment for this workhorse of a machine. So we took this gathered piece that we had created, we marked off with little pieces of thread every eighth of the way around just so that we could have it evenly gathered. Um, we just tied on little pieces of thread because if you stuck a pin in netting it's just gonna fall out. Yeah, very true. <laughs> so, and then I marked off with pins, you know, one eighth of the way around on the lining of this dress, of the, the our crinoline. Mm -hmm. And now I've pinned these two together. And now we're going to sew this onto this. Okay. We've gone a couple inches down from the waist. So the poofiness does not start immediately at the waist. We'll let your um, cr uh, netting of your dress give that poofiness because okay. we don't want you to look pregnant. No, that's very true. So, <laughs> all right. Now, what, after we get this thing set up on the machine, you can film again. But right. unless you want to film the struggle, <laughs> we shall try and try to keep this flat. And so, it's probably going to take both of us, and we're probably going to be stitching slowly, like four inches at a time. Yes. Feel free to take that pin out whenever you're comfortable, but you will want to backpack. Back. This is a two seamstress job. I, yeah, well, my mom's holding the poof. Yeah, okay, you it's, a three, it's a three <laughs> seamstress job. You gotta come over job. to the side and show the poof, though. It's kind of fun. It really looks like some sort of monster yeah. thing. <laughs> this is the poof. Uh-huh. <laughs> there it is. Well, over here. <laughs> okay, so here are your loops. Uh -huh. Pull on these till you, that you find the hooks. If you can pull them out, you, you know, tighten it up. Like you like a drawstring. Uh-huh. And you'll, you'll see there's, here's one side of a hook. You pull on that one. Keep pulling it out of there until you get to the other loop hook. There okay. you go. And hook those two together. I think, no? Yes? Yep. And then turn it around like you're adjusting your bra. Woohoo! And there you are! Wow. That was amazing. Great. That looked longer. No longer a bell. Or an A-line. An A-line. It's, it's a bell. Very nice. It's a bell. So let's get this. Make sure it's all going the right Ooh. direction. <laughs> Start doing the can can. There you go. Okay, now walk a little bit and let's see you swoosh. And then you can, you see, because this is not gathered in a drawstring, you can gather it not as much in the front and more in the back, and that way it'll be flatter in front. 
Die. Yay. She's a princess. You have to do this. There you go. Watch your swish. There you go. <laughs> Swishing. <laughs> Okay, and you can take it off. The I reverse mean, of or, a reverse of how you put so it on. We have two layers. We're testing to see if this fabric is too stiff for the under layer. The mm, reason we have an underlining um, is because her your fabric is very thin, and we mm -hmm. don't want it looking all wrinkly. No, we don't. Um, but when we you go around a body, you want to make sure it's not wrinkling. The layers aren't wrinkling underneath. And so to make sure everything lies nice and flat, when you pin the pieces together, you don't pin them together on a flat surface. You pin them together on a curved surface. Yes, makes sense. Because then it'll follow the curve mm -hmm. of the body. And which way you lie it depend lay it depends on how it's curving around your body. Now here on a bust, it's curving in lots of directions. So would that be the something for? you use the ham for? Well, the, no, we're gonna use my leg. Okay. Ham's just for pressing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so as I'm, if this this piece is the the side front or the <coughs> side so front, and so this piece would continue going <coughs> along. So I'd go along my leg, along this part. Don't poke your leg. <laughs> More like um, don't poke your thumb. Or your thumb. My poor thumb. Anyway. Um, until we get about halfway up the boob, and and we'll lay this nice and flat. Do the same on the other side. I notice that this fabric is very forgiving of pin marks, which is great. Mm -hmm. Some bridal satins, if you put your pin in that there, that you're, mark is hard gone. to get rid of. Yeah. Well, it's possible to erase it. Mm -hmm. You'd use the pin to scratch out the 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 mark. Um, hmm. You just go back and forth along along the fabric until the the mark the would go go get place. the threads back in line, um, and you'd need to get huh. special pins for that fabric. They're called silk pins. They have a special silk. covering. And then you go to the fabric store oh, and you look for okay. the package of pins that says silk pins, mm. and you need to get those special pins. Your fabric is so lovely it's that we so do not lovely. need to get extra Yay. special pins. And it doesn't seem to care at all if you, unless you use one that has paint on it. Turn it. Well, maybe not this. After it's stitched, it would have a little bit of a curve. Too. Curve, yeah. There you Here, go. when I pick it up, you can see yeah. it. Yeah. As opposed mm. to this one that's lying flat. Right. Oh, I see, I see. So, now I'm going to stitch around. I'm not going to stitch at the 5 eighths because that's where we're going to stitch the two pieces together. I'm going to stitch a little further in. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to stitch around to hold those two pieces together at that distance. So now it's we're true. putting this over the pressing ham. Um, and now we're going to iron it on the ham. Iron it on the ham. Coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh. And then the question is, when we flip it over... Is it too stiff and weird looking? And you know what? It is. Oh, no. It's like ugly. It's like pointy. Like it's like weird pointy. Like Madonna. Like Madonna. And we do not Madonna want to do the bad. Madonna boots. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I measured the circumference at the base of the crinoline here. Mm -hmm. And it's 110 inches. Sounds and like a I lot. I measured that <laughs> this distance is about 30. Okay. Um. So I need, and I know that I'm going to have five panels on the skirt. We're going to go one, two, three, excuse me, four and five. So we'll have five panels going around the skirt. Okay. That way we don't have a seam line down the middle. That would be nice. And, um, and all of the seam lines that we have will line up with seam lines in the bodice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got 110 divided by five. 22, right? Who knows? We're not good at math. Uh, we have to math because we're doing this. <laughs> so anyway, so I know that I want for my front panel, I want to measure 
about 22 inches, assuming that's correct. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Yeah, it's 22. So there's my 1. There's my other one. So now, no, I... any <laughs> don't forget fabric that you <laughs> never want to use for anything else again. Mm. Um, when you're doing professional stuff, you would use muslin because mu muslin is inexpensive fabric. Right. When you're making your own fabric or own patterns, any fabric that you hate, okay, <laughs> is muslin. Or worn out sheets or, or whatever. Okay. Muslin. As long as the weight is going to be similar. All right. And then we want this to have a little bit of a flow Here's to time. it. So I want to have a little bit of extra rippling sort of a look to it, right? Yes. Right. So now I'm going to find my pin at 22 inches, which is here. And then I, here's my line that I'm aiming for. Mm. Being careful not to cut any of the real things that we have here. No. <laughs> 